Okay, Crow Painters, let's get started. Let me set this phone up here. Are we good? Good in focus. If that falls, you know what? Let's turn this around. All right. Everybody ready to get started? I gotta kind of duck down a little because I wanna keep you in my range so you can see what we're doing. Today, we're gonna crochet a house. <laughs> I've already crocheted my shapes here and a few more. Um, but what I'm happy to show you is that we're gonna be working near an edge. These edges are a challenge. You're gonna need a good needle. Yeah. You'll need a good needle and a pair of pliers because when it comes to sewing into this edge here, it's just so hard to grip the needle behind the painting with the wood, the canvas stretched around it so much. So um, let's see here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. About 15 double crochets coming across here and back and then again. Um, and I increased my size of my crochets through here to get that roof shape. I'm going to start sewing in place. I'm sorry about my last video. I know it was bad, bad quality with the sound. Hopefully y'all can hear a little better on this one. Whoops, I forgot to thread the needle. How's everybody's day today? I hope y'all can see this all right. Let me just start sewing. We're going to finesse this roof a little bit because it's not a perfect peak. So, let's see if I can come draw in a little bit. I have a liquor cart that I keep my work on with all my yarn and stuff. When I say I want to finesse a piece, I will poke the needle in and put the piece right about where I want it. So I get a nice good shape. Uh, see how much pointier that is? Now, let's come back away. It's a liquor cart, but I call it my little crochet cart. <laughs> now, I normally sit in the living room and sew my pieces on. But for the purpose of making this video... I am awkwardly crocheting, or awkwardly crow painting in a little corner in my little crochet studio at home. So now we're getting close to an edge piece. Let's bring this around. I really hope y'all can see this. Otherwise, we won't learn how to crochet a house. I'm going to come out here first, right through the edge. Gosh, I really hope you can see that. Oh. <laughs> Just do it, Daniel. Just do it. I will come out through the edge here. And I will grab a little bit of that corner and stab into the canvas. All right. This is where you need your needle nose pliers because sometimes the canvas is wrapped so tight you just can't pull it through and the edges on the edges. So, dunk. we got it. 
I don't know which part's the hardest, the middle or the edges. The middle's hard when you're doing a big art piece because you're, cro you're sewing stuff and then you have to come back around and look at it and make sure that it's placed correctly. So we're going to finish this. Coming out through the edge. Excuse me. Too much Dr. Pepper. Um, on the edge pieces, when I'm working with double crochets on my piece, oh hey, I didn't need this needle nose pliers for that. Pull it right through. It's it differs from it. It varies from canvas to canvas. <clears throat> but on the uh, double crochet pieces uh, for a row, I like to put I like to put a stitch for the edges. I like to put a stitch for the edges um, in the middle of a double crochet and on the edge of the row so that uh, the edges look more laser straight go along and I really like to do a black border on most of my pieces oh. That will ha fr happen frequently This is all unscripted so if I'm stuttering or whatever just keep crow painting All right now we're getting along Nicely. I want to thank everyone that's on the We Love Crochet Forum for all your questions. You've inspired me to make these videos. Today we're crocheting a house. Um, I have this picture that I'm working off of. My friend has a daughter who rides horses. There's a little tractor here, and this little tractor is moving all over the place. She rides horses, and she got a blue ribbon one time, and her mom took this picture, I think, and it was such a cute picture. It's just well-balanced. I have wanted to crochet it for some time. I was real busy with Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman took me a whole year and it slowed me down on everything else that I wanted to do. Wonder Woman was a challenge. When you're picking a um, subject to crow paint, at first don't pick a topic or a, a subject that's got so many details. You will feel overwhelmed. When I saw the picture of Wonder Woman, I, I said, that's chrome. She's got a chrome body plate on. I've never crocheted chrome, and I think that would be a good challenge. I had done about nine pieces by then. I want my roof straight, so I'm going to reform this, form this better. Um, but yeah, I wanted to crochet a piece that was chrome. And that was perfect. However, it was a little bit, <laughs> it's okay. It was a little bit, um, it was, well, it was very colorful. It was like a Lisa Frank um, folder or something, Lisa Frank image, it was so colorful. I, I actually had to go buy yarn, a few shades of yarn that I didn't have. Normally, I have every color that I need in my yarn stash. It's time to tie off. <laughs> oh, I wonder if you can see this. I really need a camera, boy. We're gonna tie this off. My dog's barking because he knows I'm talking to somebody. My dog goes crazy when I talk to people on the phone or when I make videos, scissors.
For those of you that watched the last video, you know that I had to leave. I had to go off camera because I was going to call my grandma. And I finished this face so fast I didn't tie off. I just turned off the camera and ran outside and called grandma. Ugh. I figured out what was wrong with my recording method last time. I had been using the Wi-Fi on my phone, the mobile hotspot, and you probably shouldn't record while you're using your mobile hotspot because it makes all this terrible noise that nobody really appreciates. So my tractor has fallen apart, but that's no biggie. We're going to start with the wheel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bonus. You don't only get to learn how to crochet a house, you get to learn how to crochet a tractor. Because there is a tractor front in front of this house. I started with a magic circle. I started with a magic circle and did 12 half double crochets around it to make my wheel. It's going to go right there. Half of the tractor is behind the horse and you don't see it. And then there are some trees that are around here and the tree comes down over the tractor. So let's see here. We want it right about there. I'm just going to poke that string from my magic circle right in the middle and bam, we have a tractor tire. No, I don't like the placement. I want it a little lower because I want it to look like it's a little closer to us than the house. So let's drop this wheel. Let's put it right about there. I hope y'all can see, okay? Still using my magic circle string to sew this in place. Kind of short. And I'm tired of messing with that short string, so I'm going to grab my other one. I left way too much string on this tire. You can kind of see the red plaid from the previous art coming through some of this crochet, but we can cover it up. We can put some shingles on this house, put some, excuse me, some shutters. We can put some shutters on this house and it will disguise some of that red you see poking through. Typically, I will spray paint a canvas first or wrap it with a sheet. I'll staple a sheet to it and have a nice fresh palette, a nice fresh canvas to start with. Okay, let's tie that off and cut the strings. Ooh. 
right. Now, inside the tire, there's a wheel well, and um, I don't want to crochet a magic circle and a teeny tiny wheel well. So I have just done one, two, three, four, five chains on a chain and fasten them off. And I'm going to, I'm going to just sew it into a little circle like that to make my wheel well. I'm telling you, a lot of this is just finessing the pieces into place. It's not so much crocheting a perfect circle or a perfect square or triangle. You want a close up of this one while we sew it in place? I'll try and hold this. All right. Yeah, let's give you a close up. So, kind of just hold it in a little circle like that. Oops. This is really awkward. When I was a kid, my mom dated a tractor salesman that worked for Alice Chalmers Tractor and Supply in Baldwin, Kansas. And he sold a lot of tractors and lawnmowers. He sold so many lawnmowers for Snapper. One year he won a vacation to the Bahamas and they went off to the Bahamas and left me at home alone with about 10 gallons of white paint and told me I could paint the outside of the house. So while they were gone for a week and a half, I stayed at home and painted the house but he sold a lot of John Deere, Alice Chalmer, and Case International tractors and combines and all kinds of stuff that would not help me later on in my hair career. But I remember. Now here I am crocheting tractors. Tie our edges, tie our strings, cut. Look at my colorful scrap collection. What do y'all do with your scraps? I like to save mine and uh, I will use it to stuff things that I make. Um, like Amigurumi or come Halloween, I'll make a pumpkin and I'll stuff my projects with old yarn. Let's see here. The roof, let's do the roof. <laughs> let's do the roof of our house. All right, so for this piece, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven double crochets and two, or no, three half double crochets and a, a chain at the end. Just made like a little triangle shape that kind of shrinks towards the end. And um, when you crochet, it may go this way, it may go this way, but when you're pinning it in place, it'll, it'll sew right into the spot that you want. So I'm gonna kind of pin it a little bit. There's the top of the roof. Do, do, do. And the edge. Okay, very nice. From the tractor to the house. From the tractor to the house. Let's go with our long string. Once again, I have left over way too much string. That will add to our scrap pile. Most of that scrap pile is from Wonder Woman. All right. Top of the roof. A 
any of you crow painted before? Oh my gosh, please leave comments. Please leave questions and comments. I appreciate them all. And they guide me. I'm sure there's plenty of videographers out there that got lots of advice for me on how to do better lighting. Oh, I didn't do my lighting. I'm supposed to have a, I'm supposed to have a, a light above me and a light below me. A fill light, a back light, and a main light. Okay. Our roof is shaping up nicely. Still don't have those little pins from the pin manufacturer. I would like smaller pins. Remove that one. Another finesse movement. <clears throat> I really hope you can see that. I'm not cutting people off. This is a very fuzzy work. You're gonna have fluffies everywhere. There's fluffies on my blinds here, and they go everywhere. So you might be brushing your face. So yeah, remember how my how I said it doesn't matter that your piece just may go up or down. When I want to finesse a piece. I will go a little bit into it, like right, like that. Well, a little further over. I'll go a little bit into it. Okay. Then, see how my roof just kind of looks more like a ski slope thing? I'm going to come in here. I'm going to grab a little bit of this corner and push it down. Bam. See that nice, strong roof line I got now? Let's sew the rest of it in. Are there any kids out there crow painting? That would be so cool if you got started now. By the time you're almost 50 like me, you will have some masterpieces on your wall. This house I live in is not the prettiest house. I have the ugliest orange wooden walls and my crow paintings really brighten the rooms up and now I've grown to love this house that I rent very good got our little roof Around. Now we're going to tie our strings and cut them off. Now look at all that extra string. What a waste. What stuffing. <coughs> mm -hmm. All right. See? That's a little house. Uh, oh yeah, now the tractor. This tractor piece is... Hmm. Too big. <laughs> Too big for how I've done this. So we'll crochet another little piece. I want it to go around the wheel. Looks like about five chains with five millimeter hook. You'll get really good at just guessing how many chains. Chain work, there's so much chain work in this, in this art form that you'll get really good at just guessing how many chains you need. I know that my boil, five minute, 
five millimeter, my Boyle five millimeter hook is 19 chains across. I learned that with Wonder Woman. So I've got five chains here. We're going to fasten off and boom, cut it. Way too much string again. It's just a habit. <laughs> so let's crow, let's crow paint the fender for my tractor. Very good. It's gonna go right about, start right about there. Cute. And John Deere Green. It's not actually John Deere Green. They have, it's called Patty Green. Okay, now we're kind of brushing right up against the horse's patootie. Yeah, that's cute. Isn't this easy? I don't know how many how-to videos y'all are gonna need before your crow painting skills just take off. All right. I think my house needs some shutters to, to make it look like there's windows and doors. What color should I use? I'm going to use a color should I go with the same color as the roof? No. No, let's just go with a darker gray. No, let's, yeah. No, well, let's go with black. We're gonna have black shutters on our house. So, I'm not gonna crochet a teeny tiny little triangle. I'm gonna do this with chains. We'll do one, two, three, my shutters could be about three inches long, three stitches long. So four, five, six. A chain of six. Fasten off. Another chain of six. Do, do, do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cut <coughs> a little better at the string preservation there. <clears throat> and so I'm going to fold that and get what I believe will be the perfect size shutter. Needle. So let's start one shutter right here. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit away from the roof. Actually, that's too close to the edge of the house. Nobody would put a window that close to the edge of the house, would they? Oh, I come, I'm... Unneedled, unthreaded. Here, let's give you another lesson on shaping and finessing. This will be shaping and finessing a chain stitch. So I want kind of a square shape. And I want my window pane not to be, my window shutter not to be too big. What I'll do is I'll poke the needle through and then I can really yank on this in any direction and go, go where I want with it. And it doesn't pull the previous 
fastening stitch out. I'm gonna bring it this way and sew it in place. Then we can go and fold it up and do our next stitch. Ugh. Right into the canvas. Boom, we're in place. So my other string in there. I am doing this so fast and loose so that I can make a shorter video. It won't take so long to upload. I bet when you're working on your work and you pause the video, you will be able to get better shapes than I do. Put me to shame. All right, and my other shutter. Let's do our other shutter. Take a stab into this. So that start of that chain is fastened good and tight. I'm going to stab through and look at my edge. I like it. It's level with my other shingle or shutter. <laughs> Let's sew that in place. And look at this. Yeah, that's going to be nice. So we have two shutters on old house. So this up. I want a door on my house too. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go with the darker gray. Lovely, it's nice and close to the edge, so we might need our needle needs for fires again. Yeah, this house needs a gray door. And the shutters are about three single crochet stitches, so I'm gonna do five single crochet stitches for the door. Am I gonna do single crochets? Yeah. Chain one. Whoops, I almost did a double. Yeah, I know you more experienced crocheters saw that. Am I still doing singles? Okay. Yeah. Fasten off. Not too long. Stretch the top of my door out so it's kind of squarish. That's gonna make a good door. My next video, I'm going to crochet some trees.
so I will probably crochet most of my tree shapes and some extra leaves and other foliage to go in the trees. And I will show y'all how to crochet some trees. Trees are in a lot of images. There was trees in my, in my guitar man that I crocheted. All right. Show you that stretching or finessing technique when you want nice squares. I have come in through a little bit from the edge and I'm going to stretch that over to make it nice and square looking. And you know what? I don't like this little bottom of this side either, so I'm going to stretch it a little bit too. Pull and stretch. Now that doesn't look anything like five single crochets, does it? It's a nice square door. My crochet cart's a little squeaky. Okay. There we go. Poke it in there. And bam, we've got our little crochet house. Should I do a window? What color? Let's do a little dark gray window. Just for detail. It only takes a moment. Um, my crochet shutters are three single crochets long. So I want to double up a chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. To make my window. Not too long, Daniel. farther off in the distance your topics are, or your subjects, the less detailed or in detailed they have to be because they're not the main focus. The little girl and the horse is the focus in this. Nobody will say, oh my god, your windows are crooked. a little ribby. I'm going to take a stitch from one side to the other just to Well, okay, that is my house and my tractor. <laughs> All right. See, what do you think? Like and subscribe and share my videos, and please come back and watch more. I'm going to finish the rest of this. 
soon in front of you so y'all can learn my techniques. I feel like I need to do a little more detailing on the horse. Of course, it needs a tail and the hooves. I still haven't done the hooves. Those are going to be more chain stitches. So come back and watch. Thank you.